dreams that was just a dream Do you hear that had to be proven that was the congression that's scheme. done on the east uh channel now the play a different game. I was about to say strong S-T-R U and Song and strong Brought together You gotta like it Hey We gonna Turn the homie down Okay ladies and gentlemen it's been a very interesting day. There are a lot of people who... He's still a little too loud in my ear. Sorry. I mean, you know, that one right there, all I can tell you is I like it. Let's justice be told. Now, if these are my lyrics. It's just... I had too many characters and so I had to put it in chat GPT to reduce the character so it changed some of the words but hey ladies and gentlemen the courts operate on presumptions everything the court does is a presumption so you have to hit them in the head with maxims of law so the document was one of the first documents I told you we were going to use maxims of law we weren't going to use any more case citations well, that was the case where the young man put that in the record and the court reopened the case. Say what? I'm not joking. Hey, that was the victory in and of itself. Having a closed case reopened after the case was already closed. Because guess what? They just gave him the right to challenge any violation of law from this point forward i'm sorry i'm also i see some phenomenons in the sky through my cameras and this shouldn't be but i'm seeing it it's like there is cloud cover to the west and cloud cover to the east but there are no clouds <laughs> and so it's one of those illusions through the camera so look i'm going to turn off the young man and the young ladies okay ladies and gentlemen so that we can talk for a second uh we'll start this later uh i just want to let you guys understand something seven days a week i spend my time trying to help use people nobody's paying me for this People complain about the console. They're too expensive. So, you can't go anywhere else and get the information that I give people in consults. As a matter of fact, people kept telling me to write a book. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'll leave the consults for people to write a book from. What? The gentleman today that we were talking, he asked a question. I am not going to repeat his question because I don't want anybody else asking me the same thing. Okay? It was a very stressful consult why because i knew what he needed and i had to provide what he needed which is information i haven't provided you all you see that's the thing that's the catch is i don't give you guys everything i give you just enough for you to handle okay now for those of you who need remedy i provide that now i spoke in two videos in the last two days talking about the four hundred billion dollar lawsuit nobody even understands the gravity of that one suit four hundred billion dollars i told you it doesn't matter if the case kicked if the court kicked the case out it doesn't matter at all why because out of all the other cases against the federal reserve we're the only ones bringing up the issues we're bringing up remember i told you a promissory note does not exist when there is an order to pay you guys got to stop calling them promissory notes you got to say that ain't no promissory note what are you talking about 
That thing has all kind of conditions in it. A promissory note has to be unconditional. There are conditions about when to pay, how to pay. There's a condition about transferring and assignments. A promissory note must be unconditional. That promissory note has all kind of conditions. If this happens, if that happens, then this will happen and that will happen. Uh-uh. A promissory note is a simple contract. It's just a promise to pay something and that's it. But you guys are putting interest in and third day and late fees and, and, prob and probable causes and all kind of stuff. You're putting all that junk in it. That makes it no longer a promissory note. What do you mean it can be in a, it, they can have an assignment in a promissory note? No, they can't. That's a condition. You cannot assign a promissory note to nobody. Promissory note is a simple contract. I promise to pay this month back. That's all a promissory note is. Well, that thing ain't no promissory note because it says it can be endorsed to another person. So when I sign it, I'm endorsing it. It's called a blank endorsement. Go ahead and look up a blank endorsement, people. All of your promissory notes carry with it a blank endorsement. We've been telling you guys that since 2011. It's a blank endorsement. If a promissory, pay attention, if a promissory note has an endorsement, then it is not unconditional. Watch this. What are some of the things that will make a promissory note unconditional? Since a promissory note must be unconditional and be a simple contract. Stop listening. Stop listening. We're going to let you guys hear what things makes a contract, a promissory note, unconditional. See, he's putting in code. So give me a second. Let me let y'all hear what he got to say. A promissory note must meet certain criteria to be considered unconditional and a simple contract. Here are the essential elements that make a promissory note unconditional. 1. Definite amount. The note must specify a definite amount of money to be paid. There should be no ambiguity about the sum that is owed. 2. Clear terms of payment. The terms of payment must be clear and not contingent upon any external events or conditions. This includes specifying the due date or schedule of payments without any conditions attached. Three, unambiguous promise to pay. The language of the note must include an unequivocal promise to pay the specified amount. Phrases such as, I promise to pay, or we agree to pay are clear indicators of an unconditional promise. Four, payable to order or bearer. The note should state that it is payable to a specific person or entity to order oh, I gotta or stop to the bearer of the stupid. note. This ensures that the note is negotiable. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you for proving that you are an idiot. Exclamation mark. You said that a promissory note that contains an order to pay or is payable to the bearer is still considered a promissory note. You stated that a promissory note is a negotiable instrument. Comma, these are both lies. Exclamation mark. The Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, Section 102, Subsection, Numeral 65, specifically states that if it contains an order, it's not a promissory note. Period. Section number 47 says it's an instrument if it contains certain language. Article 3, subsection 104, open paren, close paren, comma, states that if it contains an order, it is considered a draft. Period. Article 9 does not cover negotiable instruments. Article 3 covers negotiable instrument but does not cover promissory notes. Comma. The two articles are not synonymous. 
comma, moron. Stop listening. You can learn a lot from a dummy, ladies and gentlemen, when you learn how the Uniform Commercial Code is written. Now, let's do that again, because he's going to thank me for pointing it out. Here's a revised explanation of a promissory note being unconditional in a simple contract. Wake up. Is it still unconditional if I add a blank endorsement? Question mark. You are a liar, comma, a blank endorsement makes it negotiable, comma, which means that it falls under Article 3 and not Article 9, comma, and thus it is no longer representative of a promissory note, comma, how dare you continue to try to mislead me, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, a promissory note contains an endorsement. The endorsement itself is a condition. It makes it a negotiable instrument. Article 3 covers negotiable instruments. It's called negotiable instrument law. However, Article 9 covers promissory notes. Just that simple. Securities. That's all Article 9 covers. Article 9 cannot handle an endorsement because it's a negotiable instrument. That's why a promissory note must be unconditional. Once you make it a negotiable instrument, you've just added a condition, a negotiation. Promissory note must be unconditional. It must not contain any orders or conditions other than the promise to pay. When you give an endorsement, you've just converted it to a negotiable instrument. When a promissory note is endorsed in blank, it becomes a bearer instrument. This means that it is negotiated by possession alone and falls under the governance of UCC Article 3, which deals with negotiable instrument. Article 3 defines negotiable instruments as including both promissory notes and draft, provided that they meet the requirements of negotiability. Ta-da! Non-negotiability means that there can't be an endorsement, ladies and gentlemen. A blank endorsement is negotiable. You sign a promissory note. You give... In the promissory note, the authority to have it transferred or assigned. By signing the promissory note, you've just done a blank endorsement authorizing it to be transferred and assigned, i.e., a negotiable instrument because you just negotiated the terms. Okay, you are correct that once a promissory note is endorsed in blank, it becomes negotiable and falls under Article 3. This shifts the clarification to mean that it is no longer treated as a negotiable promissory note under UCC Article 9. This distinction is crucial. Now, hold on one second. Watch this because we ain't going to take his word for it and you ain't going to take mine because y'all don't know this stuff. Okay? Y'all don't know this stuff. So we're going to copy that and we're going to go to Poe because Poe, Poe is Poe. Okay, Poe, uh, can you talk to me for a second? Give me, give me some uh, education right here. Here is a detailed response addressing your implication of a blank endorsement on a negotiable, uh, on the negotiability and classification of a promissory note in the commercial code. A promissory note is an unconditional promise to pay a certain amount of money at a specified, to a specified person or bearer. Specified. A blank endorsement is payable to the bearer. This is no longer specified. At a specific time or on demand, it must not contain any orders or conditions other than the promise to pay. Negotiability under Article 3. When a promissory note is endorsed in blank, it becomes a bearer instrument. This means that it is negotiable by possession alone and falls under the governance of Article 3, which deals with negotiable instruments. Article 3 defines a negotiable instrument to include both promissory notes and draft, provided that they meet certain eligibility requirements. Non-negotiability of promissory notes under Article 9. Non-negotiable promissory notes are governed under Article 9. 
Ladies and gentlemen, once your note, go back and read it. If it says that you give authorization to allow your note to be transferred and or assigned, have your, has your note ever been assigned to anyone? Ta-da! When you signed it, you authorized it to be negotiated, to be transferred and assigned. Nobody's ever brought this out before. You better listen. Okay, nobody's spoken about this before. You better listen. Once it's being transferred or assigned and you authorize it and you sign the promissory note, you've converted the promissory note to a negotiable instrument, not the bank. You did that. So stop calling it a promissory note and call it a negotiable instrument. And you tell them because it contains a blank endorsement. Where is the endorsement? Well, the note says it can be transferred. Where does it say that at? Don't worry about where it says it at. It says it can be transferred and assigned. Go look at the county record. You'll see that they've assigned this note several times. That's because I authorized it. If I didn't authorize them to assign it, then they'd be in breach of contract and they wouldn't have a claim. Now, because it can be assigned or transferred and I gave authorization, those are called conditions. And my signing that made it a blank endorsement, negotiating those terms, making it a negotiable instrument. Negotiable instruments are non-foreclosable, Your Honor. You can't use the Foreclosure Act to foreclose on a negotiable instrument. You can only foreclose on simple contracts, simple promises to pay. That's why you have the speedy trial thing where you guys put people through the summary judgment junk. Well, you can't do that here because this promissory note has a blank endorsement. You keep asking, did I sign it? You better believe I signed that. Mother, yeah, I signed that. You had better believe I signed that. I made it a blank endorsement. Shoot, I ain't going to deny I signed that. What the, you think? Yeah, I signed that. That's my signature. That's not a promise to pay. That's a blank endorsement, mother. That's what you guys need to be doing. But you're not doing it, and so you're losing your homes. Look, I can't keep doing this forever. I don't have the energy. Seven days a week. Trying to drill this into your heads. I keep saying the same things over and over again. Some of you are not listening. But you're too animated! I don't give a f what I am. You better take the information for what it is, and you better use the information for what it is. Look, I know what I know, and I know I know what I know. I have a God that I serve that he allows me to know what I know. If you don't believe me, then how do I know this? Where did I get this information from? How do I know it so clearly? How can I tell you that your signature made it an endorsement. How can I tell you that the transferability and the assignability of the note makes it negotiable? That you permitted the negotiation that you gave authorization for it to be a negotiable instrument. So you guys are going in there with the wrong argument, telling people you didn't sign it. You better take it, man, you better take responsibility and say, yeah, I signed that. That's not a promissory note and you cannot foreclose on that negotiable instrument you can only foreclose on a promise to pay that's not a promise to pay that's a blank endorsement and that makes it a negotiable instrument are they saying that it's not negotiable now let them say it's not negotiable and let's pull their records and prove that that note's been negotiated it's being traded on the market ain't it you better believe it's got some value and it's been negotiated at least once or twice that's why it keeps being assigned because i authorized it to be assigned so they could get paid so they, I don't owe these much, no money. <laughs> Man, they better go sit up there and kiss their own feet. Because I they ain't getting nothing out of me. Blood from a turnip ain't going to happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all hear that? That's God. All right. I got to go. Okay, that's the ringtone. <laughs>